So the truth is that Night Swim was a subpar horror film, if I'm being honest. And this film doesn't change the saying at all that January is the dump month for bad films. If anything, it enforces it. Now, Megan broke that curse last year, yes, but before that, I think the last good horror film to have a theatrical release in January was M. Night Shyamalan Split back in 2017. But Night Swim is based off a three minute short film that came out like 10 years ago. And the two original directors are still behind the new feature length film, with one of them, Bryce McGuire, still directing, but this time around him and Rod Blackhurst wrote it. Now I'm sure it's not easy to build out a three minute long short into an hour and a half long feature length film, and props to them for making it happen, but story wise, this is just not a good movie. Now I really want to get into spoilers, but before I do that, for you guys that want to know what I think about the film, I would rate it a 6.5 out of 10. The horror is good, but there's just not enough of it, and eventually the story becomes logically inconsistent because it doesn't follow its own logic. Plus, the ending was pretty terrible. But anyway, let's briefly get into the details. So the film starts with a little girl drowning in a pool by ghost. And then 15 years later, the Walter family moves into this home and starts experiencing all the ghost activity in this house. Ray Walter, the dad, played by Walt Russell, is a retired pro baseball player because he got sick and messed up his knee. So his career was unfortunately cut short. But after moving into the house and taking a few dips in the pool, he starts magically gaining his strength back. While this is happening for him, everything's just going great for him, he's getting all his powers back and everything, the rest of his family is experiencing a lot of supernatural shit. They're magically getting pushed into the pool, they're seeing people who aren't there, and the ghosts are also trying to drown them, you know, the usual. The mom starts looking into the house and finds out that there's a long history of people going missing who live there. She also finds out that the pool uses natural spring water from ages ago, so basically something's in the water. Maybe it leads to hell or something, who knows, but it used to be a lake before it became someone's backyard pool. Eventually, after Ray begins to feel better from the pool, some black mist from the pool gets inside of him and infects his insides. This causes him to turn evil and get sick, and it also seems like it'll kill him if he tries to leave the house or if he goes too far away from the pool too far away from the water but after an incident with a kid at the pool party they threw this is when the black mist got inside of him the father ray almost killed one of the kids who came so the mom eve finds the previous owner of the house and she's basically possessed now by the dirty black water she tells eve how she had to sacrifice her daughter to the pool so her and her son could have a good successful life and at first she act like she didn't even know she even had a daughter so i guess she's trying to forget or maybe it's the dirty black water making her forget. And she also tells Eve how she has to sacrifice something to the pool to get something out of it. During this time, we find out that she's only alive and not dead because she has a fountain in her home that uses the same haunted spring water that's in the pool at the Walters house. So basically this lady never escaped. After this, Eve returns home and finds out that the son was swallowed by the pool and that the daughter is trying to save him by trying to keep the cover from closing above the pool so he can't get out. So the mom jumps in to help. During during this time, she jumps in to try to save her son while the daughter goes to try to call the cops. And this is where she runs into the evil dad, Walt Russell. Eventually, the mom is able to save the son from a horde of underwater ghost people, but he drowns during this time and is later brought back, but the evil is now inside of him. And this is where things get a little stupid. But anyway, after the mom saves the son, evil Walt Russell goes outside and starts choking the hell out of her like he's gonna kill her. Then the daughter ends up beating evil Walt Russell with a bat until he eventually remembers who he is. And he just internally fights the evil for control of his body back and just wins like it was literally that easy for him to take back control of his body so it was like this evil force isn't even that strong or that evil at all like if he could just break out of it it wasn't even that strong to begin with but then suddenly his son just starts immediately dying again after he comes back to life and he just starts coughing up the black dirty water and although he's still close to the water and this hasn't happened to any other character throughout the movie it just suddenly starts happening to the son because i guess the whole thing is that the pool needs a sacrifice for you to receive something in return so the dad sacrifices himself so the son can live so the movie ends with him sacrificing himself and they end up moving away but before they move away they cover up the pool with dirt so this won't happen to another family and in my opinion there are just so many problems with this ending and a lot of things that happen throughout the story and here's why so usually after the pool gives someone a gift it usually requires a sacrifice. But the weird thing about the film is that the dad gets the gift and then he becomes the sacrifice at the same damn time. He basically becomes healed and gets his ability to play baseball again, but at the same time, he eventually gets sick and gets possessed by the pool. And then the movie has to put the son in danger so he can eventually become the gift that the father has to make a sacrifice for. 
It just doesn't make any sense. But see, the thing about the woman who lived there previously was that her daughter was her family's sacrifice. And in return, her son gets a successful career and they get to live good, although she's still a victim to the ghost water. The point is that the previous owner's family actually benefited from the sacrifice. But with the Walter family, they actually have to put it in place almost immediately just so it'll make some sense. So it's just like, okay. Anyway, the ending just felt thrown together and rushed and it just felt like they didn't know how to end the film. I will say though, Though, that most of the runtime was decent except for there being a lack of scares. I mean it's a horror film that doesn't really offer enough horror. There's horror in the movie but there's barely 50% <laughs> like it should be a lot more of that because that's what we're here for. I can say though that the minimum scares that we did get they were effective. Great creepy ghost designs and makeup, a lot of the special effects were dope and a lot of the underwater horror was dope. Like there was a lot of cool elements to the film. I mean, you know, go check it out if you need some fun casual horror to go see. But I'm just warning you, don't go into this film looking for a good story or a lot of scares. It's just lacking in almost every category in my opinion. But anyway, Night Swim will be in theaters this weekend. So guys, go check it out and thank you for watching.